Cornet anti-tank missile was first shown in 1994, the system was developed by the KBP Instrument Design Bureau Russia, being in production and in service with the Russian army, the missile has also been exported to a number of countries. This weapon system is a third-generation platform, developed to replace the Faggot and Conquers missiles in the Russian army. It is designed to destroy tanks, including those fitted with explosive reactive armor, fortifications, entrenched troops as well as small-scale targets. The best aspect of Cornet is that it can be fitted to a variety of tracked and wheeled vehicles, including the BMP-3 infantry fighting vehicle, as well as serving as a standalone portable system. In 2012, Cornet EM, an advanced version of the Cornet E missile, was introduced with improved range and warhead capabilities. In this video, we will see how deadly Cornet missile is and what makes it lethal from other anti-tank missiles. This system was designed to conceal its operator, who could aim it while either crouched or lying prone behind cover. That is why the launch tube is mounted above the fire control system. As an anti-tank weapon for ground forces, it is deployed by a two-man team. But depending on the circumstances a single person can assemble and fire it. The two-man setup involves one carrying the launch tube loaded with a missile, while the other carries the fire control system and day-night sight on its adjustable tripod. Improved Cornet EM has twice the maximum range of its predecessor. Cornet's tandem heat warhead is just as intimidating for its size. With a 152mm diameter, it is one of the largest and most powerful ATGM ever built. This feature is meant to defeat the threat posed by explosive reactive armor on modern tanks. Cornet EM is an upgraded version, designed to penetrate explosive reactive armor from 1100mm to 1300mm and offers high immunity against jamming. What makes Cornet lethal is its long range. In contrast with Western armies where the primary infantry ATGM has a relatively short range of about 2.5 kilometers, the Cornet is a long-range missile with a range of 8 kilometers. Javelin has its own advantage where an operator is simply required to lock on, then launch the missile. In short, Javelin has fire and forget capability, while in the case of Cornet the operator continues guiding the missile after launch by keeping the reticle on the target by Sacklow's guidance. Another plus point of Cornet is that its high kill probability at long range. The retention of the Sacklow's mode of guidance is more of a result of the preferences and doctrine of the Russian military, rather than the lack of technology on the Russian arms complex. Russia can also go for fire and forget capability, but Sacklow's guidance has proven to give the operators more confidence in their weapon in certain situations due to their ability to continue guiding the missile after firing. In contrast fire and forget missile, being out of the loop after launch led to a decrease in confidence. 